All right, you can go ahead with, with questions. Coach, what do you see different between your team now and that first game with Arizona? Well, I, I, that first game of the year, I mean, there's a lot of things you're not sure of yet, trying to figure out offensively, you know, how we're going to, to, to do things. You've got two new kids in the starting lineup, a part of your team, trying to figure out, okay, how are they going to react in games? So I, I feel more comfortable. I think they're more comfortable in what everyone's role is, what we're trying to do. And they're also finding out, okay, who's good at what? And that's half the battle anymore. It's, you can't be good at everything. It, it, it's, it's impossible you're not. So if you're a good on-ball defender, be our on-ball defender. If you're great in help, be great in help. If you can score at the block, score at the block. You're a three-point shooter, shoot to three. And now everybody, they're kind of getting a, a good sense of who can do what. And I think you saw that especially in the second half where Michigan went on a little bit of a run. And then in transition, we find Kiana. Haley finds Kiana for a beautiful three on the wing. And then Haley gets one in front of our bench because that's what they do. And we're really good shooters when the ball comes inside out. So I think that's the big thing is they're starting to get a good feel for what each other is good at. Hey, Jeff, a defensive performance. I mean, Michigan was averaging 69 points a game, and you guys forced 24 mm -hmm. turnovers. I imagine that's what you want to see from this group. What do you think worked well uh, against Michigan? Well, we followed a scouting report. I mean, the, the kids followed it to perfection. Um, you know, I've got a ton of respect for Michigan and Kim and especially Nas. I, I was fortunate enough to, to work with the, the coach for two years at USA Basketball. And she's just a workhorse. She doesn't stop. I mean, it's pretty impressive what she's able to get done. Even with everything we threw at her tonight, she still goes five for nine. I mean, it, it, it's pretty it, – it's, it's impressive. But we, we were going to challenge others to beat us. We wanted to make sure when the ball's off the, on the wing, if someone's in the corner, we're in big time help. Make them make some threes. And they made one early in the game. And then they end up going two, two for 15. Because I knew one on one, Nas is a handful. I thought Olivia played fantastic. I thought, God, this one, one of the, she has had several games back to back to back where she's played well. And tonight, defensively, she made Nas work. And then Liz came in defensively. I thought she did some good things offensively. It just – it wasn't her night. But that's okay, too. And that's what we've got to start figuring out is, hey, if it's not my night at the offensive end, what can I do to contribute? Jeff, the physicality of the game was – kind of speak to that a little bit and how you're, how they stepped – you guys stepped up to it and, uh, and kind of took it to them physically. We knew it was going to be a physical game from watching them on film. You know, I like that. I like how, how, how they play. I think they pursue the basketball when there's a missed shot. You know, when they shoot it, they're going after it. Uh, for us to hold them to six offensive boards, I think is really impressive. And a lot of that, again, I mean, I'm looking at, oh, it has her down for zero defensive boards. But that's because she was putting a body on Nas every single time and making sure she wasn't getting it. And we had told our guards, it's like, you're going to have to get us some de some defensive boards. Um, and then Emily comes up with 12 of them herself. But she took advantage of that. She took advantage of the fact that Liz and O were doing everything they could to keep Nas off the offensive class. How, how did you get them to buy into, say, this, this faster pace, you know, more intense defense, um, you know, a quicker offensive pace? I mean, what, what was that process like? Well, I – We've tried to play the same the same way offensively. Now we we're not as fast offensively as we have been in the past. Like you can see us reverse the basketball and get I'm trying to make teams guard us on both sides sides of the floor. And when that happens, even when we miss shots, we we ran our offense, got the ball reversed. Alana Smith in front of our bench comes off a ball screen. They got to help up. She missed the shot, but then Olivia gets the O board and sticks it in. When we make people have to switch and worry about who's coming off the ball screen, then it's going to free us up for some offensive rebounds. And that's something we've got to continue to be able to do. We, we had 15 O boards. Uh, you know, when, when you look at this, we miss what, 25 shots? Is that right? Is my math right? 
Yeah, my math's right, right? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at math. 35. 35. I need glasses. I should have brought him in here. Yeah, so we missed our 35 shots, but we get 15 O-boards. That's pretty impressive. So offensively, that's what we're going to have to continue, continue to do. And then we pushed it in transition. We did a nice job of scoring. Uh, at the de defensive end, we know we're going to have to guard. That's what our bread and butter is going to be. We're going to have to continue to get down, make it hard for others to score, and then we, you know, turning them over 24 times, which led to 32 points, is is the difference in the game. Coach Emily Easter just seems to be really coming into her own with this team, and and more importantly, seems to just really be getting along and having a lot of fun out there with her teammates and playing. Just talk about what she's meant to the program here. Well, we were tired of playing against her for three years. I mean, we we know what she, what she can do, uh, and when she decided that that she wanted to transfer and and, and ended up with us, we we knew we had something special. Um, she practices hard. I think she can get more consistent with that, though, and that's uh, something that I've talked to her about. Um, but it, you know, she she has five steals on on the stat sheet, but I'd love to know how many jump balls she caused which doesn't count as a steal, but she had hands everywhere. The number of deflections that, that, that she came up with, um, you know, the layup there in the fourth quarter that Casa gets is because on the baseline out of bounds, she gets a handle of the ball and deflects it, and then it turns into a layup. So just really, really impressed with how she plays at both ends of the floor. I've just got to continue to work with her on taking care of the ball. That's the one, the one area of the game she, she has to really kind of fo focus in on. Right during the first half, things started getting a little chippy, and you had that double intentional foul called. What words of encouragement did you give Olivia on her way back out on the court? No, oh, I just told her to keep playing. Like, you know, that's the one thing. It's it's frustrating to me in many ways because that's not a technical foul in the men's game. I mean, let let the kids play. Now, if they start getting in each other's face, fine. You know, like people that come out to watch women's basketball. They want to see them compete. You know, it's not a, you know, if I knock you down, hey, hold up, I'll help you up. Are you okay? I'll dust you off. Like, let them play. Let, you know, if they block a shot, let them talk a, a little bit. That's, we, we, we don't dunk. We're, we aren't dunking. So you're not getting that play. But if I throw, if I block a shot and it goes out of bounds, let them talk. You know, Emily got a little chippy. She hits a three and holds her follow through. And they told her, you know, hey, hey, you can't. Like, my God, in the men's game, they don't even think twice about that. So let them play. And I think that's what uh, hopefully we, we aim everything on sportsmanship because we're, we're women's basketball. Sportsmanship's important. There's no question about it. But in the heat of a game, let the kids, it's okay for them to show emotion. And if we want to continue to grow our game, we have to let them play with emotion. That's what fans want to see, unless I'm wrong. And I, I every once in a while, I'm wrong. A lot of times at home, but. Jeff, the, the guards, uh, I know Kiana picked up the ball a lot full court and it's at times there. I mean, between her, Chelsea, Mikasa, Haley, just the way they pressure the ball, um, just not just tonight against Michigan, but just th throughout the season, how important that will, will that be for you guys going forward? Well, it's really important. We have to be known as a defensive team. We, we've got to disrupt things. We can't let people just get into their offense, make passes wherever they want. We've, we've got to get them outside of their comfort zone, outside of their operating area. And if we can do that, then we've got a chance to get in help. You know, when, when you don't let them just catch it on the three-point line and now it's two steps beyond it, good things can happen defensively because you've made it such a, a, a bigger floor. And I thought we did a great job of, of getting in the passing lanes, making them step, extend their offense for, uh, even further out. Anything else? I appreciate everybody. Thank you all. Thank you, Thank you guys.